Welcome to the SCP Foundation Anomaly Safety Manual. In the event that SCP-049 breaches containment, the threat level will be critical. SCP-049 is considered cooperative but on rare occasions can have aggressive outbursts. By just making skin contact with SCP-049 can lead to instantaneous death. In the event that SCP-049 has breached containment all staff members should make their way to the nearest safe room. Lavender, which is stored around where SCP-049's containment cell can be used to calm it until SCP-049 can be recovered by a nearby mobile task force with the correct restraints. It is quite possible that SCP-049 is accompanied by instances of SCP-049-2. If someone who you recognize has been transformed into an instance of SCP-049-2, do not attempt to interact with them. They are no longer themselves. Mobile Task Force operatives will dispatch any instances of SCP-049-2. Do not attempt to interact or apprehend SCP-049 without proper equipment. A lavender spray will come from the ventilation system wherever SCP-049 is believed to be located. After the lockdown is over there will be a 15 minute period where sanitation staff will clean the affected area. If you are killed by SCP-049 your remains will most likely be cremated and your family will receive death in service benefits. Remember the acronym SHE. S is for finding safe rooms. H is for hide in safe rooms. E is for evaluate your situation. And remember, the Foundation's purpose is to secure, contain and protect.